Yes. He's always there. Yes. No matter what the situation is. Yes. Even when you step back, mm -hmm. he still holds the door open for yes. you to come back in. Yes. Glory unto his holy name. Yes. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, church. Those watching on Facebook, on YouTube, it's an honor and a privilege yes. to be back in the house of the Lord today. Yes. Amen. Amen. We serve an awesome God, yes. a merciful God, yes. a yes. loving God, yes. forgiving God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. So let us make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and yes. enter his courts with singing. Yes. Bless his holy name. Yes. Father God, magnificent one, yes. we glorify you this day. Yes. We love you this day. For we deserve nothing that you have given unto us. Yes. But we thank you for it. And we ask you, Father, to continue to touch each and every one of our hearts, Lord. To give us a heart of love. A heart to love people. To bless others, Lord, as you have blessed us. To be holy. You have called us to be holy. You have called us out of this world to be ambassadors of Christ. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father God, we ask you to let us not only receive your word, but be doers of your word. Yes. And Father, that we shall go forth and speak your word unto those, Lord, that do not know it. That they might be partakers in your glorious kingdom. That they will turn from that wide path unto the narrow path. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And if we could all stand for a brief moment and sing the doxology with this wonderful male choir.
Next, we will have our morning scripture from Reverend Turner and our intercessory prayer and offering <coughs> and prayer from Deacon Charles. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Truly, it's a blessing to be back into the house of the Lord.
and it seems like the doors of progress are closed in your face. No matter what you do, your friends don't appreciate it.
Bishop Zella and Bishop Martin Cates, <clears throat> Elizabeth Kirkpatrick, Wapena and Floyd Burnett and family, Minister Teresa Curry and family, Deacon Bush Strauger and family, Keith Medley, and let's not forget, pray for your pastor. He's always praying and laboring for us. Yes. He never forgets about us, no matter what. No matter how childish we act, he's still praying for us. <laughs> Pray for the deacon ministry. They're our spiritual leaders. They need our prayers. Let's keep them strong. Pray for our trustees who labor tirelessly to take care of the house of God. Pray for one another. For you don't even know what the person sitting beside you is going through. Amen. So keep each and every one of us in prayer. Pray for our city, our county, our state, our nation. For people have lost their way. They're now looking at themselves and not at what they can do for others. For what's doing for others is what built this country, not doing for themselves. Amen. And by way of announcements, as you heard last week, Brother Seneca Rogers is running for the Allen County School Board again. Amen. So let's all rally behind him if you believe in his cause. And what he's running for, right behind him, vote for him. And let's not forget for the other things that we're voting for. For our forefathers fought for the right for us to vote. Yeah. So let us go out and use that right and vote. For these local elections are just as important as the national elections. Yeah. And one other, well, two other announcements. By your gracious generosity, the outreach was able to feed two families with food for a week. So let's give God a hand for our church. Where he came to us in unity and in love. So as long as we continue to give and bless others, he will continue to give and bless us. Amen. And one final announcement, beginning the first Sunday in June, we're going to start streaming on YouTube instead of Facebook. The reason is, some people can't see it until it's posted on YouTube. Facebook, you have to have an account to see it. On YouTube, you don't. So it makes it easier for everybody to be able to see our services by going to our YouTube page. Mm -hmm. And we'll start doing that in the beginning of June. And now we'll ask our wonderful choir they can give us one more selection before this glorious pastor that we have to come and preach the word today. Uh, on August, I'm not going to go on the 14th, 11 o'clock, there will be a special call meeting for the church. Everybody can attend. There's no vote. And it's regarding the integrity of our spiritual direction and our financial direction of the church. So I hope everybody can attend. Everybody left out. No vote. That'll be at 11 o'clock.
had snuck one in on this one. I didn't get the words yesterday, but we're going to do what thus says the Lord.
I failed to do the offertory prayer. Thank you, Dean King, for reminding me.
And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. I want to preach to you from the subject today. Do you love it? Amen. Do you love it? A lot of people will talk love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Notice I said talk love. Right. Love is a verb, an action verb. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And you must show that love by the way you walk. Amen. Love, the fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5.22. The first fruit of the Spirit is love. Love is unconditional. Love is not judgmental. Mm -hmm. Talking about God's kind of love. Yeah. We are called to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. That don't do no good because we are called to love our neighbor as ourselves. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 20 where you find the Ten Commandments is the culmination of love in the Old Testament and it talks about the first four is loving God. If you love God, you will put no other gods before Him. Amen. If you love God, you will not use His name in vain. Amen. If you love God, you will keep His commandments. Amen. If you love God. Amen. In the New Testament, Matthew 22 tells us like this. All of those ten hang on to us to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength. Yeah. That don't do no good if you don't love your neighbor as you love yourself. I said it I say it now and I say it again. A lot of people talk love. But if you love me, you got to show me yeah. that you love me. Yeah. See, true love is when I don't do what you want me to do, but you still love me. Vice versa. You don't do what I want you to do, I still love you. Yeah. That's true love. Amen. Matter of fact, the acid test for love is when a person in a relationship messes up. And then the person who's supposed to be the love earth loves that person regardless. Yeah. Oh, y'all said that like y'all stood at the house, but I'm gonna come and get you this morning. Yeah. What about when you wouldn't know? Amen. Oh yeah, you dressed up this morning. Y'all look good this morning. Y'all y'all smell real good this morning. Y'all got a smiley face on this morning. Yeah. And some of y'all just like me, knees hurting, back hurting, everything hurting. You see <laughs> Now you old folks can know that you're all right. Yeah. But love comes when folk mistreat you. Yeah. When folk slander you. Yeah. When folk talk about you. When folk walk away from you and call you everything yeah. but a child of God. Yeah. And you still can love them. Yeah. When folk take you and hang you on the cross and you still can say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That's true love right there. Yeah. And in this text right here, before I get there, I'm going to tell you we're talking about Jesus. We're talking about the disciples. We're talking about mainly also Peter. Mm -hmm. Now, Matthew 4 and 19, Jesus comes on the scene early in this ministry. He sees uh, the boys out there fishing. He said, follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. Yeah. Yeah. He began yeah. to follow Jesus. Yeah. He calls them into service, and then he commissions them. Uh -huh. Luke chapter 10, it says he calls 72, and he tells them to go. Amen. And to not only preach and do mission work and take care of people, but also to put the devil in his place. Yeah. He gave them authority to walk on and tread on serpents and to bring folk together by the love they exhibited to people. Mm -hmm. He also not only uh, called them and not only uh, uh, authorized them, but he also uh, paid their bills. Mm -hmm. At the time when Peter, uh, they wanted to know if Jesus uh, paid taxes. Jesus told Peter, go down to the water and get a fish. You're going to find him. You're going to have a corn in his mouth. And go ahead on and pay your taxes. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's when you're going to find out whether people love you or not. Mm -hmm. See, God take care of you with a 400 credit score. Mm -hmm. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. you, you can't get a piece of bubble gum with a 400 credit score. Mm -hmm. But God still takes care of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With an 800 credit score. If you are the wrong person on the wrong side of the tracks for the wrong reason, even with an 800 credit score, you can't live where you want to live. You can't drive what you want to drive because the person sitting behind the computer don't really love you like that, so they're not going to sacrifice to help you do what you want to do. Y'all hear me? And 
What you understand is that love is the development of relationships. See, love is predicated on a relationship because in a relationship, you must have experience, amen, with the person that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have experience with someone and you love them, when somebody says something opposite of the character of that person, if you love them, even in the absence of that person, you're supposed to be man and woman enough to stand up and say, they don't even sound like them. That's what true love is. I wish I had somebody in here. I said, y'all don't like me, so I'm going to go on down and do that to one. I'm just going to look at my note and just keep on preaching, amen. amen. So now, uh, love, that's what we're talking about, right? Do, do you love me? Peter told Jesus that, I love you, Lord. Yeah. I give you reference to in Matthew 26. Y'all remember that? In Matthew 26, Peter told the Lord, I'll die for you, Lord. Now, I'm going to go with you. Not only am I going with you, but I will die for you. Yeah. Sound like Prince, don't you? Yeah. John 18 and 10, Jesus got arrested. And when they came to arrest him, Peter whooped out his sword, cut off the ear of a soldier by the name of Moses to show the Lord that he loved him. Uh -huh. yeah. But then when the Lord told him in Luke 22, be very careful, because what's going to happen is the devil desires to sift you like wheat. Be careful when you're on top because the enemy is coming. Amen. Yeah. Jesus in the courtyard on the way to be uh, 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 judgment hall, on the way to be crucified. The same Peter who said that he loved the Lord uh, denied him three times. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said that Jesus looked back and saw him warming his hands on the fire. Amen. And went on to, for his sake to go to the cross to save the very person who said they would be with him always. That's what true love is. Yeah. Peter not only denied Jesus and Jesus be told him, be warned because Satan wants to desire to sift you as weak, but he also told Peter that when your strength comes, you got to strengthen your brother. Amen. Yeah. That's what somebody in here start looking at folk who betrayed you and did you wrong and start looking at the folk that when you wasn't lovable, they loved you yeah. anyway. Amen. When you lied to them, they loved you. When you told them you were going to be there and you wasn't, they still fed you. Amen. They kept you through a storm. That is what true love is. Yeah. In this text, you'll find a Simon Peter. Things didn't work out like they thought. Amen. Y'all remember last week we talked about John chapter 20 where Jesus showed up behind a locked door when they was in the, uh, the disciples was in a room behind a locked door afraid of the Jews. Ain't that right? And Jesus showed up through the door. And then he commissioned them, he breathed on them and told them, peace be unto you. Ain't that right? Yeah. And then after that, he showed up again. When he showed up this time, Thomas, who wasn't there the first time, was there. Jesus said the same thing, peace be unto you. But Thomas coming for a minute. Look at the nail prints in my hand. Look at the nail that print in my side. Come and put your finger in there. In yeah. other words, I went to the cross to die for you because I love you. I resurrected because I love you. Amen. And I'm here to give you peace because I love you. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to always be with you. That's for somebody right there. Yeah. When you think folk ain't with you, God is with you. Amen. Amen. In your worst of God is right there. Jesus is ready, waiting on the wall. In the text of John 21, it shows the fact that they will see a Galilee. They're on the way, amen, to Peter had said, I'm going fishing. Yeah. Wait a minute. The Lord that calls you into ministry. The Lord has uh, uh, not only called you into ministry, but forgiven your sins before that. Yeah. And then he's commissioned you and given you authority and power to do what he said, and you're going fishing. Now look at the text. I ain't got to look back because I know the text, but you got to go back and look at the text and pull these nuggets out I'm already to give you. When Peter decided to go fishing, he turned his back on the Lord again. And he went on to do his own thing. Notice in the text, if you read it, that when he decided to go fishing, the other disciple said, I'm going fishing with you, and they abandoned their post. Church is the same way. It don't take but one person to decide that they're not going to do what does say the Lord. They don't care what God says. They're going to do what they want to do. And when that happens, there's so much of other churches that we will not do it. The devil in heaven himself took one third of the angels who didn't listen to God but decided to listen to the Antichrist. Amen. And they followed him uh, down to earth 
and they're going to follow him to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. John's gospel yeah. talks about love because John is the disciple that Jesus loved. Uh -huh. That was John. But John didn't talk about this right here. Well, I'm going to pretend I got to show you. If I show you love, I got to show you hate. Amen, somebody? Amen. Now, in the book of Isaiah, it talks about the devil. It talks about Satan, who in Luke 10 said they saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Amen. Why did Satan fall from heaven like lightning? He fell from heaven like lightning because he wanted to do his own thing. He said, I will. Yes, sir. I will. Whenever you hear somebody talk about I this and I that, that you run the ain't of the devil. Amen. I will. He wanted to exalt his throne above heaven. He wanted to exalt his throne above the stars. And then I'm just going down to the last one. He wanted to say it, exalt himself above the congregation. Amen. He wanted to exalt himself above the congregation. Oh, my mercy. And, uh, Isaiah said that uh, he had to pay the price because he walked away from God. Amen. But the difference was that Amen. Yeah. But the devil then is the same devil now. Yeah. There's no love in the devil. And I, I, I'm going to go from there, but I, I got to check. There's no love in the devil. For those, for those of y'all who got Netflix and still watch TV, amen, and call a little bit like the pastor, there's a movie called New Jack City. And if you have not seen it, go back and look at it. In New Jack City, there's a, a, a dope dealer by the name of Nino Brown. And Nino Brown has taken over an entire a complex, an entire neighborhood complex in New York City. And he's got the men on drugs. He's got the women and children captive. And they show this one scene where he's sitting around the table passing out money to the children. Amen. An old man came in and told him, the children, they said, told the children, y'all, get out of here. Amen. And he said, you sitting up in here like you God Almighty. And then he looked at the, look in the corner. And there's the preacher in the corner. Oh, and he looked at him and he said, Reverend Oaks, what are you doing in here? Amen. And then old Brown started to talk about the old man. You ain't got nothing, old man. You ain't got a window. You ain't got a partner. And I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I'm here. And I'm happy folks. Amen. And the preacher and the old man said to the drug dealer that devils ain't got no love. And go and get 
some of them kids, amen. Yeah. And when they went on over there and got some of the kids, let me tell you something, church. Stop trying to do stuff that only God can do. Stop arguing with things that don't want to do right and you do right yourself. Stop trying to get people to appreciate what you do and keep on doing what's right. Yes, sir. And when they got there, Jesus gave them something to eat. And after they had finished breakfast, the Bible said that he looked over there at Peter. And he said to him, Peter, uh, do you love me? Amen. Lord, you know that I love you. Well, if you love me, you got to feed my sheep. I'm getting ready to go a little out of here. You got to feed my sheep. Sheep are mature Christians. Amen. And he said, do you love me, Peter? He said, I want you to feed my lamb. The lambs are the children. And the lambs are the babies. Amen. Are you sure that you love me? If you love me, you got to be my sheep, amen. Lord, you know that I love you, amen. And I just want to stop by and ask somebody, do you really love God like you say you love God? Do you love me when it won't work out the way you think? Do you love me when your body is racking with pain? Do you love me when your household is out of order? Do you love me when the church don't look like what it ought to do? Oh, no. 
you was like me. Get it? I was single. Keep it in. Fall? I'm from the peaceful shore. Yeah. Maybe out there all by myself. Very deeply. Stay with me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sick and corrupt. No more. But the master <laughs> of the sea. Yeah. But the master yeah. of the sea. Yeah. Heard my despairing cry. Yeah. From the wall. Yeah. Here I go. He lifted us. Yeah. And I say. Mama died. Yes. Love lifted me. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Daddy died. Yeah. Yeah. Love lifted me. Yeah. Yes. Lost some money. Yeah. Love lifted oh, yeah. me. Yeah. Had to preach the eulogy of my friends. Yeah. 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 Love lifted me. Yeah. 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 Feed and pay their bills and they walk away from you and talk about you and treat you any kind of way. Yeah. Love will keep you. For somebody who feels like giving up, whether you're in this church, you're on social media, don't give up. Because God loves you today. And y'all know how I love you? No. Y'all know how I love you? No, church, don't y'all know how I love you? No, I love you. I sent him a love letter last night. Reverend Turner. Reverend Turner. I had a piece of construction paper. Came back last night, I run a little late, did some things with my wife, look tired, didn't really do what I normally do, but I did, I did do this. Pull it out my little piece of paper, y'all. And I drew two big circles. I wrote yes on one. I wrote no on the other. I said, Lord, you say it, you know everything. Say so you no know all about it. But at the top I wrote, do you love? Do you love me, Lord? Yes or no? And I'm going to ask y'all that today. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Do you love me? Do you love me? They were in the south, wasn't they? Look at another neighbor. <laughs> Say, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Do you love me? Do you love me? If you believe this, stand to your feet. I'm done. Stand to your feet. There's one who never accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the free will pardon of your sins. It's not about mind. It's not about flesh. It's not about your body. This is all about your soul. One day we're going to leave this earth and you're going to have to answer to God for what you did in body good or bad. And then you're going somewhere. Amen. 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 So depending on that decision, depends on where you go. If you heard this gospel, that Jesus died and Jesus rose, so you confess it with your mouth. The Bible says that should be saved. Yeah. Is there one who will be bold enough to step out on faith and declare that you've never been saved and you've never been baptized? This is your opportunity. All right. The second one is you and my, my pastor, Reverend William Carr. Reverend Carr said some folk are just like this. They got one foot on the earth and one foot on the banana peel. <laughs> in other words, they got one foot on the earth and one foot in the grave. And they're still trying to do it on their own. If you're like that, but you love God, but you just don't have strength to do what He wants you to do, I want you to step out on faith. Amen. Amen. If you love Him, and you're saved, and everything all right, and you're ready to go eat some chicken, put your hand together and say, Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I want y'all to do one thing for me before I pray we get dismissed. I see my buddy out there, Miss Joy Clinkscale. She look a little tired right now. She tired because she plays soccer. Raise your hand, Miss Joy. Raise your hand. Let's see Miss Joy over there. Miss Joy team won the eight on the soccer championship. Amen. Boy, I want to see her play. She a beast. Amen. She good. I just want to give her a flowers. Thank you, Lord. Congratulations on your victory. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. God, truly we love you. Truly, God, we honor you. And truly, God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for forgiving us of our sins. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We 
thank you, Lord, for your extended grace. We thank you, Lord, that even when we were uh, out of the wheel of you, God, somehow, some way, you still blessed us and you still brought us back home. God, I sure do thank you. I thank you, God, for every person, every soul, every family that's represented here today. God, I pray that we will come out of our sins and be placed into the Spirit so that we can be better men and women for you. But God, truly, we love you and we're going to show you by our actions. Church, y'all want to pray with me? The Lord's Prayer? Y'all ready? I'm going to drop back off the mic because I drain you out. I'm going to step back to see if y'all really know how to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me?